Hi everyone, today we continue with our next topic which is integration. In the end of this topic you need to know the following things. You need to know what is the notation for integrals and I have shown it here and also which formula we are going to use in order to solve questions for integrals. The formula you can find it on page 11 from the formula booklet but more we are going to talk about in a few minutes. Also, you have to remember what is the main applications of integrals and actually one of the applications of integration is to find the original function f of x when the first derivative is given. And about first derivative, we already talked in one of my previous videos. Let me first show you what is the symbol for integration. We are going to use this symbol and afterwards we have to write the function that we are going to integrate, let's say x on the power of n, and then don't forget to write down dx, because this shows that we are going to integrate in terms of x, or in respect to x. The main formula that should be used here is, if we have integral of x on the power of n dx, this can be rewritten as x on the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1, and then plus c, where c is just a number. This formula can be found in page 11 on the formula booklet, so you don't really need to remember it, you just need to know how to apply it, and I'm going to show you that in the next examples. Now I'm going to show you some examples in which we are going to apply the formula that I started with in the beginning. The formula was x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. And now our first example is find the integral of 5x plus 6 dx. The first thing that we have to keep in mind here is what is the power of x. So in the first term we have 5x, which means that the power of x is just 1. And then plus 6 means that the power here of x is just 0, because x on the power of 0 will give us 1. And now we start applying the formula. The coefficient in front, which is 5, we don't do anything with it, and we just write down over n plus 1. But the power is 1, so we'll have 1 plus 1, and then on the top we have to write down x on the power increased with 1, so x on the power of 2, plus now we're going to do the same thing for the second term, so we're going to write down 6 over 0 plus 1, because this time the power on x is just 0, and then x on the power of 0 plus 1, or x on the power of 1. Then let me remove this part here, plus c. And now let us simplify a little bit more. We'll get 5x on the power of 2 over 2, plus 6x over 1. We don't really need to write down over 1 because it will not change anything. And then plus c. And this will be the final result on the first example. We continue with the second example. And in the second one, I will show you step by step what we have to do. We have to find the integral of 7x on the power of 4 plus 5x squared plus 3 dx. So here we're going to apply exactly the same formula, and let's start with 7x on the power of 4, which is the first term. So we're going to keep the coefficient 7, and then in the denominator we'll just rewrite our power and add up 1. So 7 over 4 plus 1, then x on the power of 5, because every time we have to increase the power by 1, plus 5 over, we take the power, 2 plus 1, x on the power of 3. And remember that whenever we have a number without x, this only means that x is on the power of 0. So we we'll write down 3 over 0 plus 1 times x and then 0 plus 1 as a power. And then always you have to add up plus c. Now we can simplify this even more. So we'll get 7 over 5 times x on the power of 5, plus 5 over 3, times x on the power of 3, plus 3 times x plus c. 
And this is the final answer for the second example. So here we don't have to simplify more. We can leave it as it is. And the final result, you can see that this is actually the initial function. And if we apply the rules for finding derivatives, and if we find the derivative of 7 over 5x on the power of 5 plus 5 over 3x on the power of 3 plus 3x plus c, we'll get to this function, which is inside the integral. For the next example, you can try to solve it on your own, and then you can double check the workout with me. We're going to apply exactly the same rule. So we're going to write down 3 over 8 plus 1, because 8 is the power, times x on the power of 9, plus 5 over 6 plus 1, and then x on the power of 7, plus 2 over, and then we'll write down 1 plus 1, x on the power of 2. Every time, don't forget to increase the power by 1 plus c. And now we can simplify a bit more. So we'll get 3 over 9, x on the power of 9. And we'll get plus 5 over 7, x on the power of 7, plus 2 over 2, x on the power of 2, plus c. If you'd like, you can cancel out some of the coefficients and simplify even more. Let's solve the next example together. We're going to apply exactly the same formula. So if you'd like, you can try to solve this example on your own, and then you can check the workout and the answer with me. So the first thing that we have to do here is just to write down the coefficient 6 over 3 plus 1, because 3 is the power, and then x on the power of 4, minus 5 over 7 plus 1, times x on the power of 8 plus c. And now we can just simplify a bit more in order to get the final result. So I'm going to write this down on the next page. We'll get 6 over 4 times x on the power of 4 minus 5 over 8 times x on the power of 8 plus c. And that would be it for this example. Let's continue with the next question in which we'll have to find an integral. Find the integral of 3x minus 2 times x squared plus 1 dx. In this type of questions where we have brackets, you have to remember that we first have to expand the brackets before we start applying the formula that I showed you. So let's expand the brackets together. We'll start with 3x times x to the power of 2, which will give you 3x on the power of 3. Then we have 3x times 1, which is 3x. Then minus 2 times x on the power of 2 is minus 2x squared. And minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. And then we write down dx. Now we have the new integral, integral of 3x on the power of 3 plus 3x minus 2x squared minus 2 dx. In this moment, we can just take the formula and we can apply it. So we'll start with the first term, which is 3x on the power of 3. We'll write down the coefficient, which is 3. And then in the denominator, we'll put the power plus 1. So we'll have 3 over 3 plus 1, x on the power of 4. Don't forget to increase the power always by 1. Plus 3 over... And now because it was only 3x, this means that x was from first power. And now when we put it in the denominator, it will be 3 over 1 plus 1, x on the power of 2, minus 2 over 2 plus 1, and then x on the power of 3, minus, now the last term is minus 2. We said that if we have numbers, in order to write them down applying this formula, we'll accept that x on the power of 0 can be added because x on the power of 0 is just 1. And now we write down 2 over 0 plus 1, x on the power of 1 plus c. And now we can just uh, simplify a little bit more to get the final result. So we'll get 3 over 4, x on the power of 4, plus 3 over 2, x on the power of 2, minus 2 thirds, x on the power of 3, and then we have minus 2x plus c. And that's the final answer. 
Just remember that whenever you have brackets, you have to start with opening the brackets and then you can apply exactly the same formula. And let's solve one more question together. In the next example, you can see that we have integral of x on the power of 5 minus 2x over 3x on the power of 3 dx. Before we start applying the formula for integrals, first we have to rewrite this expression in a different way. So I can rewrite it as integral of x on the power of 5 over 3x on the power of 3 minus 2x over 3x on the power of 3 dx. So far you can see that I didn't change anything. I just rewrote the first expression into two fractions which are with the same denominator, but this doesn't change our expression at all. And now from this step we have to continue with using the rules of exponents. So if you remember when we divide two terms with the same base we can just keep the same base and subtract their powers. So we'll get x on the power of 5 minus 3 or x on the power of 2 over the coefficient which was 3 minus 2 thirds and now we're going to do the same thing for the second term so we're going to keep the base, which is x, but we're going to subtract the powers. So we'll get 1 minus 3, which will give me x on the power of minus 2 dx. And now let's continue simplifying. I can rewrite the integral as 1 third of x on the power of 2 minus 2 thirds x on the power of minus 2 dx. Remember that if you're going to write down x on the power of 2 over 3 or one third of x squared, this is the same thing. And now we can move on with applying our formula, which you can find on page 11 from the formula booklet. Don't forget that when you apply the formula, you have to keep the coefficients in front. So we'll get one third and then we'll open a bracket and inside the bracket we'll put the power plus 1 so we'll get 1 third of 2 plus 1 times x on the power of 3 because every time we have to increase our power by 1 and then we'll have minus 2 thirds and inside the bracket we'll put our power plus 1 closing the bracket and then again increasing the power by 1 if the power is minus 2, when you increase it by 1, it will be minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1, and then plus c. From here, we can continue simplifying our expression, and we'll get 1 over, here in the bracket is 3, so we'll get 3 times 3, which is 1 over 9, x on the power of 3, minus 2 times 2 over and here inside the bracket we get minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 so 3 times minus 1 will give us minus 3 in the denominator x on the power of minus 1 plus c and we need to simplify one more step so we'll get 1 over 9 x on the power of 3 remember that if you have two minuses as in this case they are going to result into plus so we'll get plus 2 thirds x on the power of minus 1 plus c. And that would be your final result for this question. This was the last question for today from this topic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video.